uh, Enchanted Island Skyrim. You know, they gotta pop in a soul gem and then repeat. All right. Uh, with that in mind, I take the piece of uh, crystal that I have in my hand, look over to the executors, and bring it over to them and hand it over. They very deliberately, slowly reach out, pluck it from your hand, and then just huck it into the bag of one of the bags of holding they have. Uh, not breaking eye contact to if you at well to the point where you could constitute eye contact you can't see their eyes yeah uh and either of these two were the ones who did not speak correct correct the only one that's spoken thus far was the one that just gave told us a little bit of the stone all right i would uh, approach the one that spoke with told before they look to you and you hear telepathically, uh, simultaneously speaking, a male and female voice. Not an androgynous voice, like literally two voices combined, simultaneous. And what is it you want? As a uh, gem crafter, jeweler, myself, I am very curious as to what a jeweler might learn of the craftsmanship under your supervision. I would like to request that, if you haven't already planned, for such measures that one of them do study this. And if possible, I would like to learn whatever it is they can deduce. Robert Persuasion. Persuasion. Please roll good. You rolled bad so, <laughs> you rolled so bad. Oh, Bud! My <laughs> oh my god. That <laughs> analysis is Never. not under our purview. That will be going back to Sir Lyle. Understood. Thank you for your consideration. If you want to examine it yourself, you would talk with that one. And they throw a finger, they point a finger at Tolus, who's again in the midst of gushing to the vagrants about the rock they got. <laughs> that piece was given to them with the sole point of academic research. A nod. You can consider your own academia to look into it as well with your own eyes and hands. Very Do well. not abuse it or we will find you. Of that I have no doubt. There were of an accord. And they just turn away and begin putting, continuing putting stones away. I'll just glance over to the group to see the familiar situation going on. Just give it like a, oh, cool, nod, and then Jordan walk over to Redane. All the way up on the, well, actually, uh, would Redane return back down from the hill at any, uh, any point, or would he just stay up there until it's time to go? Hey, just waiting up there, observing the future. You go on up. It is him and his captain. Or, or not him and his captain, him and the captain. <laughs> Maybe one day. Yeah. I think the others will be here any moment, hopefully. Meanwhile, <laughs> Anushka Oriana. <laughs> Anything? Or is keeping an eye out. Probably just keeping an eye out, watching the new familiars, I guess. <laughs> Just seeing what's going on. The bird and the bug. Yes. It's like, hmm, that's new. The fade and the fly. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> um, uh, I'm not sure. Oh, fuck it. Uh, Oriana kind of wants to look at the... Uh, I'll aim at the NPCs, uh, the newer NPCs in the group, and try to like analyze. Hmm, how does this Analyze their which which newer NPC? NPC? You had to pick one. You can't just pick all. Okay, uh, the the group of like uh, barbarian or the guy who said he was a nice. vagrant. Yeah, vagrants. They uh, get a new name when they get a new name. <laughs> uh, fucking, I can't remember his name. The barbarian. Oh, oh. Tall. Uh, sure. Uh, they just want to, like, 
try to analyze their kind of combative capabilities and try to figure out if they can try to see the weaknesses that could be in their thing to try and improve that for later. Does that make sense? Roll inside. Size them up. Yeah, that's that's a very simple way of putting it. I don't know why I didn't just say that. Uh, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna spend a die on this because this is important. And watch as I get a four. Uh, fifteen. God, where to begin? I have two d4, and I keep rolling so bad with them. Where to begin? Um, I mean, Zol could probably crush your skull between his hands. <laughs> if he wanted to, especially if he were raging. You do know that that is probably his most significant flaw, is that he has to be in that trance, that battle trance, in order to be properly effective. And he is quite obviously weak to deterring, mentally deterring elements, like old person. He's reckless, which is a big, big red X in your... Uh, assessment. Reckless is very seldom good. At least in your own experience. You scavenged one tartlet. Nice. I earned that. He's a hearty selling bitch. It's like classic kind of barbarian design. He is a classic barbarian design, yep. I mean... Barba all barbarians will have will most likely be harder than everyone else. They have D12s. Mm. Mm. He seems kind of like... this. Uh, that might be digging too deep for that, but sure, I'll try it. Uh, it, it. He seems kind of like cocky and full of himself. Does it seem like that's like to hide something else? I'm not sure if I can read 15, that. you don't know. Okay. The idea pops in her head, but it's... knowing someone for effectively a day, it's hard to tell. Less than 20, much less than 12 hours. Yeah. <laughs> in terms of actual interaction time. And I think with that, your guys' short rest, quote unquote, comes to an end. It is four o'clock in the evening this time. Your horses can travel fast, but they also have to travel fast in rocky terrain. Or hilly terrain, rather. And also given that not everyone in your company looks at Vagrant, actually has a horse. So you guys are sort of lowered on speed because of having to wait. I don't think we even have enough if we like double up on horses to have everyone. You on. guys have enough to double up. You guys are PCs. In terms of the whole totality of the group? No, not at all. We should have bought some extra horses. Oh, well. <laughs> we can totally just buy those, definitely. Eventually, the executors are finished putting away all the place. They even sight on, like, activate, hmm. put on the sides of their visors this sort of eyepiece and begin looking over the place. Hmm... Brendan, you've seen a similar style of eyepiece in your time in the Twins. It's basically a scanner. Like a little visual read. Right. It changes, it changes on what it actually does. Depends on the model, the make. Some can detect magic, like traces of magic, sort of like an ongoing detect magic item. Others can detect spells in specific, especially if they're operating on someone. Others can detect other things. Historically, there is one that was used to track disease in the past. Plague and such. Eventually, they get them all queer on their visors. They One of them goes up to the captain and tells them that they're ready to depart. And with that, the Hilllanders, the West Levy, and the Executors are ready to bid you guys adieu. The captain, Captain Abraham, does... Stay behind and wish you all safe travels. Good luck. Mind the night. And with that, they depart. So 
So. It's 4 o'clock. You guys probably have an hour to two hours left of daylight. It is the month of twilight right now, so days are getting shorter and shorter. What would you like to do? You guys can continue uh, north. You guys could <laughs> go back south and go back to town. <laughs> I'm thinking um, we should head further away from this place, say, because there's a giant thing that lots of people of varying interests know about. Mm -hmm. To like sort of head out town for like maybe an hour and a half or something and use the last half hour to look for a camp, maybe. That sounds or like somewhere to camp. Yeah. That's reasonable to me. Can probably find shelter in one of those abandoned ruins. Oh, yes. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah, uh, shelter sounds good. Mm hmm. Okay. All right. Excellent. Mm hmm. I mean, this is a classic roll. Ms. Ranger, roll mere survival. Dog. Uh, okay. Can someone assist her? Okay. Okay, it's all right for me. It's okay. I'll, I'll give you advantage <laughs> from Kasai. Oh, okay. Well, I was probably just yeah. saying Kasai should roll. Oh, never mind. Never mind. <laughs> Kasai is in fortune. the midst of uh, placating Hebe. Who, as soon as the... Hmm? So Hebe's got competition now. <laughs> well, no, Hebe isn't, like, angry at the other elementals. It just sort of watches them, and you can see its form flicker. Not, like, out of existence, but into another type of form, like, <laughs> sprouting into something else, but doesn't ever get there. And she's just in the midst of, like, calming Hebe down, saying, like, it's okay, it's okay. Later. <laughs> so on and so forth. We've started a trend of one upmanship and I'm winning. <laughs> not really a thing of one upmanship. You'll see. Well, <laughs> maybe not, given the given your guys' track record of these roles. I'm, I'm more of a June fan myself, but. <laughs> <laughs> so, 16 in survival. You guys travel for the next hour or so, looking for spots of safe respite for the night. There are, is only one township ahead of you that is a like, or rather, it's a place you can get to before dark. If you guys want to travel in the dark, go you. In which case, then we can just start talking about that and one. That sounds like the place we're going. <laughs> <laughs> now you guys can just camp out in the, pla or not the plateaus, the, um, the valleys in between the hills. Like, you guys can't quote-unquote stealth camp. Like, that is a thing. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So, I remember what Abraham just told us. About what five minutes ago. <laughs> Wait, which, thing, which one did you, <laughs> are, you, are you harping on? Uh, about how it's a terrible idea <laughs> to stay out in the open. Yeah, but you guys could just be better. <laughs> yeah, you're basically setting up camp yeah, but, for the uh, raiders that are coming. Well, not. Raiders. But Abraham's not a PC, duh. Abraham's not a PC. Uh, also, Abraham <laughs> is from is, is, is from a ten year old conflict mindset. Mm -hmm. Right, he has not camped out here in ten years, so mm -hmm. he, maybe he doesn't know. Mm -hmm. He's also lived to a ripe old age as a soldier in the Hillens. <laughs> a very fair point. Very fair point. It's up to you guys. So I'm just going to encourage our group that we, we make for the town. I will second that opinion. <laughs> I heard that opinion. As much as I don't like towns, it is better than out here in the wilderness. They could really do with some trees around. There are trees towards the northern side, but not towards the southern side. So, to the township. Can oh wait, I should probably. Uh, uh, this one is the slide. Yeah, this one. Oh God, <laughs> all loaded in. Oh, great. Can you guys make me watch around? What? Who? There is no limit to how far forward or back or left or right. Do whatever you do. What are we doing? I didn't hear. It caught out. Marching, Marching order. order. 
Where are you standing when something inevitably pops up? <laughs> are you going to be within fireball range of everyone? We have four horses. Yeah, we had like yep. six originally. Did we? Is it is it four or six? It was four. I believe. <laughs> I, n I have not taken away tokens from them, I'll tell you that. That's fine. So I say... Here, here would be my suggestion. We put mm -hmm. someone in the front, someone on both the left and the right flanks as Advon, with someone in the middle that can heal on a fourth horse. Look at him bringing tactics into this. We, we, that way, we if we like, need to quickly uh, react, we can shift focus that way. I don't remember which horse is mine. Like is <laughs> I thought these are color-coded here. Purple, pink, Yellow, and then Chad Horse. Or Chad Horse. So Chad. Come up with names for the horses. Hmm? We're going to have to come up with names for the horses. You did, and I refused them. <laughs> I mean... I'll come up with a name yeah. at some point. <laughs> so, let's see. <laughs> Kasai isn't a fan of riding the horses. Lambert will take perch. Like Kasai will probably be like way over here, <laughs> doing her own thing. She's like the I doubt she could be a horse, family, but it's still part of the yeah, family. Yeah, but is she gonna fucking use a wild shape every fucking like thirty minutes to, to become a horse? No, she's not. <laughs> Especially given that she's constantly using one to summon Hebe. So she really only has one wild shape at any given point in time, just so you guys know. Fun. Is this your guys' formation? Yeah. No. Does anyone want to double up on horses? Yeah, it's a free tail. Or more or less, does anyone want yeah. to double up on Yeah. I want to go on a horse. A horse. Then put yourself on one. Come up with me if you want. Silas welcomes anyone to hop on. Of course, it will cost you like ten gold, but still. Who was it that gave you the horse? Fucking Uber. They only give you the price after you're in. It was <laughs> deep that. Oh, I was gonna say it was deep that gave the. The tree last time I was gonna say Silas right. like specifically offers, but it's alright. It's up to you guys. So, no one riding on Chad Horse? I thought it was the Yeah, of course, mm. of course I will. I'll, I'll, I'll take the middle position. Easy. <clears throat> I guess I'll hang up with Amber then. Hello. You mean in the middle, in the safe? I figured that's where you would want to be. I mean, that's where I wanted to be, but Amber's, like, over there. Yeah, she doesn't yeah. want to be in the middle. <laughs> because no, it's the most so... spot for shit to get <laughs> to happen. Let's see yeah, if this works. The fireball's 20 feet. Looks like you can hit pretty much everyone from right there. Hmm. That's crazy. <laughs> no, I, w I was saying oh, you could put just... the horse without, like... Slowly mm. shifts over. <laughs> oh, where did he go? Could... Oh! You could literally put the horses out like 90 to 100 feet. You could. Because all they do is... Wait, technically, how are you, you can, moving the horse you and can, your character? Because oh. they, can, they can do 180, right? I can... Um, eventually, uh, if they dash, yes. So, yeah, we could do... We could put them 180 each way, and the first sign of contact, they just book it back to the middle. Yeah, so they would pop fleet-footed, then they dash, so 90 becomes 180. And then we just put our keenest scouts on each flank. In that case, Oriana would be on the horse. The horse is faster. And then be like the scout for that side. And this is where I can use the f lovely tooltip flight feature. Oriana wasn't going to ride a horse because it's like, ah, oh, she's fast. And then he brings up that point. It's like, oh yeah, hor horse Mondo fast. Okay. <laughs> she said the horse yeah, will be faster literally... than you guys ever will be. Right, it's it's literally uh, a no-brainer. We just have to oh contact. All right, group in the middle. Everyone, let him know what it is. This whistle super loud. 
We have whistles. We do. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna dictate that Lambert is putting his horse sixty feet to the back, so well within riding distance. So, uh, tool tips. <laughs> no. These tool tips are super nice. Uh, one of the finally roll twenty did something helpful. <laughs> one, one in a hundred. For once. For once. Yes. So. You guys begin marching, quote unquote marching, forward with a healthy distance between all of you from the quote unquote center of the group. Let's talk scouts. All right. If you're on a horse, I'm excluding Lambert. Roll me perception. That would have been smart. Actually, I don't think it gets one. Anyways, uh, I wouldn't have guidance for this because Lambert's like a billion. Miles. Yeah, I know you fucking wish. Let me fix that. Before <laughs> nice. And shit. Get Oriana. Okay, I got a twenty-one. We're on the same horse. Sorry. Right. No, you don't have that four because you don't have guidance. Oh, says. Oh, is it already 17 on? Seventeen is better than ten. It's just we leave it on. Just don't add it. Okay. So you got seventeen. I thought it was on. Well, our flag uh, sees nothing. We got eleven and a nine. <laughs> All clear, Cam. All clear. Yeah, we're good. Nothing. I don't see anything. Oh, Not what is that yeah, strange, repeating thing? Oh, just flick over my, my own of the list. I don't you really want to see anything from the sounds of it. Am I even looking the right way? <laughs> You're just like looking towards the other horses, like what? <laughs> just I am I occasionally think that she's an enemy, and it's like, oh wait, shit. <laughs> Wait, I, oh. Closing in on the township, Silas, you're the one that spots it. You spot movement. This movement is not where you would think it is, though. It's not at like the town gate or on the. I guess it would be quote unquote the outskirts of town. You spot it in what would is basically the skyline of the town. Not that it's like a skyscraper skyline like New York or anywhere metropolitan. This quote unquote township long abandoned now, is really constituted by 10 buildings. All of them in terrible, terrible states of disrepair to the point where, yeah, I'm not sure if you even call them buildings, you probably just call them a series of walls with no rooms. But they do still stand decently tall. One, two stories, thereabouts. You spot movement on the tops of such. Can I determine anything else, or just that there's something moving up there? It's like watching, like, a silhouette. Okay. Yeah, you see these little bulbs, little bulges, like, sort of sauntering, I guess, back and forth, like, leaning back and forth, like, semi-rhythmically, I guess, with a sort of pattern, I guess. I kind of lean back a little towards Oriana, and I'm like, do you see that up there? You do not see that up there. <laughs> mm, I must have missed it. What did you say? That's just something moving back and forth. I just I don't, I don't know what yeah, it is. It's supposed to be an abandoned town. That's exceptionally concerning. Yes. And so it's like starts to move, starts to get the horse to like start going back towards the group of just a little bit, and kind of like glances back at Oriana and like, should, should we tell them? <laughs> she just nods and tries to whistle to get someone's attention. So we start heading back. You get the attention of the entire party. <laughs> awesome. In a silent, windy hillscape like this, a single whistle carries on. quite clearly. This is fair. <laughs> Once we get within like talking distance, I was like, there's movement up top over there. I don't know if anyone else can see it. Do you oh, see dear. how large? It's fast, it's slow. Do they see us? I gotta remember what Crash said to me saying. <laughs> That's crazy, man. That's wild. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, you get used to it. Well, I haven't taken any moment to act. If you feel comfortable, I would recommend sending your familiars to scout it out. Uh, yeah, I was about to ask if I could do that. 
You read the description spot, you tell me. So, oh, Yanma, I mean bug. <laughs> okay. Yeah. See, I I think I want to do that. As you wish. So you send June out. You can have a telepathic communication link with your familiar up to a hundred feet, I believe. So either hundred or hundred twenty. I'm pretty sure it's a hundred though. And then there's yeah, a whole world, I think, for like a mile. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we would still need that means in order to get information, they had to either return back within a hundred feet of them, or you're just in within a hundred feet of them constantly, anyways. Which one are you going for? I'll keep Ari uh, to be with 100 feet. Just like 70 feet up and 30 feet across. Which so you get close to the town. Yeah, uh, oh, it's only 70 feet. Six, six feet. You guys send your familiars out. They can report back to you that this town has many a creature in it and a very notable obelisk in the center of it. Or I guess totem for the better wordy wording on it. It is a totem which is relatively crudely carved, although it 